Going to bring out our next set of bachelors, and here they are. Bachelor number one is a banker from Jacksonville, Florida, who believes his quick wit is a big hit with women. His favorite thing in the world is hitting the beach and riding his sea dew until the sun goes down. Say hi to Joey Marmo. Hello, Joey. Bachelor number two is a sales manager from Dallas, Texas, who enjoys golf and tennis. He says he's always late for dates, but always charms his way out of the doghouse. Please welcome Glenn Hartnett. Hello, Glenn. <laughs> Bachelor number three is a substitute teacher from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who loves the outdoors. He claims he communicates well with animals, and especially horses. His name is Ash Winfield. Hello, Ash. <laughs> To prevent our next guest from hearing anything about our bachelors, we've kept her isolated off stage. Before I bring her out, let me tell you something about her. She's an art dealer from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, who says she's very open and direct. She loves flea markets and says her favorite hobby reminds her of every man she's ever met. Please give a warm welcome to Bethany Sachs. Hi, Bethany. How are you? Hi, Chuck. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. So, uh, you have a hobby. That reminds you of every man you've ever met? Is, did I get that right? Yes, because what is that? I, I like putting puzzles together, oh. like jigsaw puzzles. When I was a kid, uh, the Rubik's Cube was my favorite thing. Yeah. So you find guys that are falling apart and try to put them back together, or what? I just like to put the p pieces together, not necessarily put them back together, but, you know, I'm going to write a book later about all this. Yeah, well, I can't wait to get to that <laughs> chapter. Thank you. <laughs> Have a seat right over there. I got three men who'd like to uh, work a puzzle with you. Bachelor number one, say hi to Bethany. It's you and me, Bethany. <laughs> <laughs> and bachelor number two. Hello, Bethany. Can't wait to see you, darling. Me neither. <laughs> and bachelor number three. Hello, Bethany. Hello. Bethany, you've heard the hellos. You're going to hear all the rest when we come back. We'll do it. Two and two. Be right back. <laughs> Everybody, gentlemen, good luck to you and Bethany. Let's play the dating game. Okay, bachelor number one. I love a man who knows how to be extremely mushy. <laughs> Let me hear you be so mushy that even I will want to puke. <laughs> oh, gee, puke. Um, yeah, I guess maybe mushy. we could get together and uh, sit in my mushy bean bag, uh, pop in uh, some, uh, read some novels and uh, write some poetry, pop in beaches and uh, listen to my famed Barbara Streisand collection. Wow, the poetry. I like that. Bachelor number three, same question. Bethany, I'd be your sugar plum reindeer. I'd be the one to tuck you in bed at night. I'd read you a story. And then just about when you're about to fall asleep, that's when I'd take my snoot and tap your forehead and take my hoof and tap you on the shoulder and I'd I'd wish you a sweet, sweet dream, Bethany. Bachelor number two, if you were a horse running last in a race, what would the jockey have to dangle in front of your nose to get you to run faster? Oh, I'd say a uh, picture of you in danger. I'd probably blaze through the crowd, uh, leave a cloud of smoke behind to try to save you. <laughs> Bachelor number one, the same question, please. He would probably have to dangle the, um, a picture of the old cast of Bonanza. <laughs> Do you know, it was every horse's dream in Hollywood to get on oh, that show. I <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> I like that in a man. Bachelor number three, I have an identical twin, and we often thought of secretly trading boyfriends for one date only. We're just not sure if it's a good idea. What do you think? Well, I like the idea. And the reason I like the idea is the fact that you thought so much of me that you want uh, me to meet your sister. And the second thing I like about that is the fact that you said it's a one date only. So that tells me that you don't want to get rid of me, that you, in fact, want me around. Aw, that's very sweet. <laughs> OK, bachelor number two, the same question. Well, I wouldn't re recommend it for you, uh, Bethany, because uh, once you've been out with me, you'd want me all for yourself. Oh. I like 
your southern accent. That's very Thank nice. Um, bachelor number one, you've been placed on a desert island for one year, and you're allowed to bring only three items with you. What would they be? What would they be? They would be uh, possibly my old collection of uh, Gilligan's Island tapes, uh, my, uh, my monkey Sid, and uh, some back issues of uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit issues. Those issues myself. Bachelor number two, the same question. Oh, I'd have to say uh, my dog Bear to keep me company, uh, some uh, suntan lotion to keep my skin uh, from uh, wrinkling and so forth, and a picture of you to inspire me to make it through the year. Oh, very nice. Yeah, very romantic, all these guys. Very romantic. Okay, bachelor number three. Sometimes when I get really excited, I sneeze uncontrollably. Tell me what in, involuntary reaction I'll have when I first see Bachelor number two. Well, uh, you'd want to run off to a motivational seminar. Because this guy is just so high on life, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a compliment. I, I believe it was a compliment. <laughs> I, if it wasn't, we're all fooled. <laughs> bachelor number two, the same question about Bachelor number three. Well, I probably you probably ask him um, how uh, Granny's doing because he reminds you of uh, Jethro on Beverly Hillbilly. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Okay. Bachelor number three. I use tarot cards to help me discover the future. What will I see when I deal your cards? You'll see our ranch on the range. See smoke coming from the chimney. And there I am saddling up uh, black thoroughbred horses. The sun is setting. And I'm riding off into the sunset to hunt the mystery of life for you. Wow, I like that. Horses and mystery. <laughs> OK, bachelor number one, the same question. Same question. Uh, well, we would uh, probably be in a beautiful starry night in a uh, California evening. And you would be watching me do my encore performance for the opening of Kiss. <laughs> and you would be the next Heather Locklear. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's for number one. You were fooling around the tool shed and accidentally got your head stuck in a vice. <laughs> Let me hear you scream for help. Help me, Aunt B's got my head in a vice. I hope he's tightening it and Andy just cuffed me and rode off on my squad car with my best gal, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that means we're out of time. Bethany has to make her decision. We'll take a commercial break. Come right back and find out who it is. Don't miss the next newlywed game. He predicted you would say, it's your grits that are bad. I don't know how to make them. That's why they're so bad. <laughs> yeah, you'll learn a lot on this yeah. show. Then, on the dating game... I'm a safe and you're a burglar. Tell me how you're going to crack my code. Turn your knobs until you opened up. <gasps> well, that was a question just begging for an answer like that, wasn't it? <laughs> don't miss the fun. Love will never be the same. We're back with Bethany, and we need your decision. Did you choose bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Well, three is always a good number, but... <laughs> oh, but you didn't choose him? Who did you choose? Number one. Oh, He's bachelor very... number one. Okay, well, all right. He said funny things about poetry, beanbags, and he used some other voices that I thought was very good. Poetry and beanbags, and he did use another voice. I couldn't think of who it was. It was uh, not Opie. It was, uh, oh, well. Someone what? I liked. Who was it? Barney Fife. Yes, that was it. It was very good, too. Right on yeah. the money. Well, before you meet him, let me introduce you to the other two guys. Uh, bachelor number two is a sales manager from Dallas, Texas. He says he's always late for dates, but he can charm his way out of trouble. His name is Glenn Hartnett. Come on, Glenn. Thanks, Glenn. Thanks for coming on the show. 
And you didn't choose bachelor number three. He's a substitute teacher from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Loves animals and being outdoors. His name is Ash Winfield. Come on, Ash. Hi, Ash. Hi. Thank you, Ash. Thank you very much. Hey, Thanks thank for coming you. on the Appreciate show. It. All right. Well, before I introduce you to your date, let me tell you something about him. Bachelor number one is a banker. He's from Jacksonville, Florida. He loves writing his sea doo from dawn till dusk, and he claims his quick wit with women is a big hit. It's time to meet your date, Joey Marmo. Come on, Joey. Hey, girl, what's up? Hey, Joey, congratulations. Thanks. Yeah, I'm going to send you guys to Las Vegas, Kramer. Yeah. Well, somebody hit me, because the two of you are off to enjoy the fabulous Flamingo Hilton Las Vegas. You'll enjoy superb dining, a dazzling show, health spa, tennis courts, and a spectacular swimming pool. Have fun, and don't forget to double down. Back to you, Chuck. Thank you, Kramer, and thank you all very much for coming on the show. I hope your dates are good ones. Thanks for joining us out here, and we're going to see you next time. Until then, here's a great big dating game kiss.